Hey guys, Herblin here. What's up? Got a new episode of Dwarf Fortress. Going to be working on new barracks still. Going to be working on some of these new chambers. And uh, going to just keep going with a lot of the things that we've already been doing. Uh, I want to get this uh, mechanic job set up where we are setting up the lever uh, to be able to handle some water intake from a waterfall that's going to be coming in right here into the new barracks. Um, then we're going to have the water, of course, flow out down here as per request, as per mention kind of in the, uh, the comment section. I've set up stone fortifications as opposed to the iron grates that I've been using. Um, and we've got our, our water section up top apparently fixed. Uh, just was a zoning issue. I guess I had to have a, a bit of the zone on land completely done. And I want to get a couple new wood burning furnaces going, not wood burning, sorry, um, metal smelting shops going. And that's going to be under furnaces. I just got to grab those and set those up. So it's going to be one of the, uh, something that's, that's going to help us uh, keep things on track as far as metal working goes, I believe. Uh, we've been kind of falling a little bit behind. I'm going to just make these out of just generic. Um, stone doesn't really matter we've got lots of limestone we might as well use up i'm gonna put a couple in here uh, i'm gonna put in four i guess that's what we have room for and then uh you know we might not need them all the time but i'd like to get that metal smelting just kind of going around the clock and get some of this like stockpiled metals gone uh i might put actually i'm gonna i will just get that out of the way now mine out a little section here for metal dumping so we can just dump raw metal in here uh, and that way we'll get that we'll get that all sorted out and we'll get that dealt with as quickly as possible. Um, somebody's just working slowly down here. This guy here looks like he's carrying uh, mechanisms up here. There's four of those jobs that have to be done plus linking them up to the uh, little gates down here. So it might be a bit of time before we have that ready. Um, I want to see it get done in this episode, but you never know uh, the way things are going. Uh, we're going to set up our new kitchens here for Moo. We're also going to have, you know, his little stone, his little uh, bedroom set up here as well. Uh, I'm just going to dump out that stone so it gets done quickly. And we'll actually, I'm going to set up an engraving job here also and just get that, get that all nice and ready for him. Uh, we're going to need some kitchens. He's, he's going to have a kitchen here, but we're going to have a couple of kitchens set up down here. Not just uh, not just Moose, but uh, we'll have you know we'll have a few others, and uh, maybe they won't be active all the time. But uh, you know, I don't think we need them active around the clock. Actually, uh, I'm going to put a couple of stills down here also because can always use more stills. Let's put put two stills down here, and then we'll have them fill up this food storage area eventually. I hope. Um, and we'll get Moo moved in back here. We'll get a nice bed. We'll get some nice furniture in there for him. I'll throw in some statues in the corners because why not? Uh, we've got silver statues. Let's just give them some because we've got them. Uh, do we have any cabinets or anything? We do. We do. We do have cabinets. I don't think we have any beds because I just placed them all into the upstairs areas. Uh, but we should have somebody working on bed production at some point. Uh, either, no, that guy's working on chairs, which we might be good on actually. Let's see, how are we doing on chairs? Chairs... Ah, uh, we've got quite a few. Could always use more, but uh, I'm going to take that production off here. Uh, I've got this guy working on beds. How are we doing on tables? Just sat like crazy on tables. Uh, let's take this guy off here and let's just put him on... You know, I'm going to put him on beds for now. We'll need more of them anyways, and if we ever plan on introducing more dwarves into the fortress, we're going to need more. So we'll just get that out of the way, we'll get that dealt with, and uh, assign these all as bedrooms and get people moving in as soon as possible. All right, so we've got we've got Moo's room mostly made up. We're just waiting for his bed to get hauled in here. Uh, we've got everything else. We've got a kitchen assigned for Moo's use only. Though he's not there anymore. I don't really know what happened. He should be working on a fine meal at any given time, but he seemed to have given up on that. Uh, I might have to kind of dick around with the settings a little bit more, but he, he definitely was in there. He was cooking. 
Uh, so we've got his kitchen. It's only his. Um, and then we're going to have, you know, some other things set up eventually. Um, yeah, it should be just, just him, right? Permanent slash restrict. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at that. Maybe I've just restricted only Moo. Uh, because he just left. That's really strange. But anybody's allowed to work in the one below that. So somebody should at least be working in the kitchen kind of around the clock. Uh, we'll put easy meals on the anybody's kitchen. And then we'll put uh, fine meals on Moo's kitchen. For now, maybe we'll upgrade that to lavish eventually. Um, other thing that we're kind of getting ready here is dumping some beds in these these areas. All these have been assigned as bedrooms already. Uh, nobody's claimed them yet, so we might be good on bedrooms. But once we're good on bedrooms and nobody's really taking these up, uh, the big thing is to go back and start disabling some of the old bedrooms. Some of these bedrooms, because these are really depressing. Let's just free these beds up actually right now. Because these are awful. These are little two by two by one little squares that people are living in and we've got some like we've got a manager and a miner both living in this one little bedroom a spinner and a broker in there um, militia ryukon's bedroom is a little cupboard in the bottom corner like a harry potter cupboard and uh yeah that, that's not good that's not good uh we'll leave those beds in there for now i mean anybody can crash on them anybody can go in there and sleep if they need somewhere to sleep but uh, I don't see any need for anybody to use those as a permanent bedroom. Uh, when we have so many nice ones that are just unclaimed sitting down here. So people will start moving in here now, I'm sure. Now that we've got it uh, so that they can. Uh, and now that we've taken away their other bedrooms, I'm sure somebody's just going to come down here eventually and claim them. Uh, we've got a couple of specialty bedrooms being made. How did this uh, work with the levers go? Still working on that. That's going to be... A, that's really taken some time. Um... As far as these kitchens go, we've got probably Moo for whatever reason. Moo's carrying, looks like his own bed into his bedroom. That's kind of weird. He's constructing the building that will be his bedroom shortly. Uh, I'm not sure that he knows it's his bedroom. But let's convert it into his bedroom right now. Sign this to, I know he's probably already got a bedroom, but we'll just give this to him anyways. And that should make him happy, I think. Why is he... He's going back to this uh, this little kitchen section, isn't he? What an idiot. You know what? Can we just disable everything from this right now? You know, I want to just stop anybody from being able to use this. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to look at it. See what happens. Uh, our great halls, we've got two great halls. We might, you know, I think I'm going to move some of the food storage around because we've got so much being stored in areas that it doesn't need to be stored in anymore. Um, I'm going to remove this kitchen. Just completely take this one out. I'm going to take out this still and I'm going to remove this stockpile here. Uh, in this back room and this all, can all be moved to another, another room, right? Um, I'm going to disable a good portion of this stockpile because I don't want them just moving it right over here. Because I want this food brought downstairs. I want somebody to come and bring this food, ideally, all down here into our new Great Hall. I'm going to put a couple more doors here so people have more access to the food. Um, but other than that, I think we're getting... I think things are going pretty good. We've got a nice little hall set up here where people can eat. All the chairs are on this side, if you can see. Uh, so the tables are almost facing uh, the big window that is the waterfall. Um... I think that looks really good. Maybe I should have doubled these up and had people facing each other, but maybe my dwarves are a bit antisocial. We'll figure it out. We'll get there. Um, everything, people haven't claimed these yet. Still waiting on that to happen, I suppose. And Moo's bedroom, we set that up and everything's good. So I'm just going to watch these guys work a little bit further and hopefully they get this, uh, hopefully we get this kitchen ordeal sorted because it's, it's a little bit frustrating. Good. So it looks like these rooms are actually clearing out of all the junk that was in them. People are slowly getting this all brought out of here. Um, got a lot of limestone mugs laying around. I guess we got caught up on that mug production. Um, I think we're good on 
beds now. We've got, I just keep seeing Heli Charty is making some uh, masterpiece wooden beds, and that's great. Uh, but we'll be good for now. We'll just leave, we'll stop that production. We've got a couple extras laying around in case we need them, but I think uh, the bedroom thing, I think that was all, I think that was all pretty much cleared up. I mean, like, we've got bedrooms that people aren't using right now, so I don't see much point in uh, creating a lot more right now. Yeah, like, look at this. We've even got extra bedrooms here. So we'll just kind of quickly get those uh, those in there. I mean, they're going to be free bedrooms. Anybody ever wants to take them up, they're sitting right there. Um, and then we're going to be working on some specialized kind of custom bedrooms too. So, yeah, I think we're good on beds for now. I'm going to throw a bed just down in here into the, uh, the new bedroom that's getting built here. Put in our iron cabinet. Uh, do we have any armor stands? No, we don't. Do we have any weapon racks? We do not. That's something that we need. That's something that we need. We've got a couple tables that's going to go right in here. And we've got a few chairs. Might as well just throw them in here. And then uh, we'll get we'll get those armor stands and weapon racks built up. We might as well get those made out of metal. We've got so much metal. Um, well, at least a lot of metal in the ground. We might not have a lot pumped out and a lot ready to go. But we'll make it out of this stuff. Armor stands, and we'll have this other metalsmith shop because neither of them are doing anything right now. Come down here and work on weapon racks. There we go. And we've got these new, these four new smelters placed in. I'm gonna have all of these working on hematite. Have these each doing hematite because we can. And I'm gonna do a stockpile here for stone. And I'm going to specifically set this stockpile um, just to be like metal that hasn't been extracted yet. So we're going to change the settings here, come down to the stone area, and we're only going to have, we're only going to allow uh, metal ores. Whoops. Enable that. And we're going to forbid anything, yeah, anything but metal. And I think I did that in two parts, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There, so, so people should be bringing metal ores up there slowly, and then they can just take them right out of there, and they can smelt them. I guess we're gonna need a like a coal stockpile also. Kind of didn't really think of that. I guess we'll just do that right down here. Do a little coal stockpile below, so they can come down here and grab those. Um, that's gonna be really important, keeping that furnace fueled for them. Ugh. What else do we gotta do? I mean, we're gonna need defenses. I keep saying we need defenses and I haven't really started on them yet, only because it's such a massive undertaking that I'm really not looking forward to it. Did we really just run out of iron? Oh my goodness. As I said, oh, we have so much iron, let's just build out of it, we run out of iron. Amazing. Good job, Herblin. Um, so I guess that's something that we need to prioritize a little bit now, getting actual yeah, we didn't build anything with that, did we? Wow. <laughs> I guess we ran out of iron almost immediately. What do we have? What can we build out of? We have gold. Gold and silver like crazy. Oh my goodness, we have so much gold and silver. Screw that. Why were we making anything out of iron then? Let's just do it out of... Uh, let's just do it out of silver. Or gold. Let's do a couple gold ones. Furniture... And we'll do a couple gold weapon racks because we can't do it out of iron. That's too bad. There. So we'll get two of those made up and we'll throw one set in uh, Ryukons and we'll throw one set into the barracks down below and then we'll make some silver sets up in there. And uh, that should be pretty masterful. That should be pretty amazing once it's done. How did they end up doing? Just got one more thing to link up here. This has been done. Uh, so we can pull this at any time and start letting water in for the waterfall. I'm going to test it first without letting more water in, and then we'll let more water in, see what happens, see if it floods any part of our base, um, before letting water just flow in from the stream relentlessly. At least we got it linked up. This time, like last time that we did this, we didn't have any way to stop it once it got out of control. This time at least we have a way to, to just shut it down. If things start getting bad, we can just shut it right down. I'm just gonna get rid of the food stockpile up here also, like, why bother? 
I don't I don't know why we've got so much food stored up top. I don't really I don't really care for it anymore. We've still got this little hall here. I guess we could always turn this into something or make this into some kind of meeting hall. Um, there's no reason to have people eating out of there anymore. We've got way better places for them. Let's get everyone kind of moving downstairs and avoiding this top level. Because this level is kind of dirty and drab and it's all made out of old sand. I had to check that. <laughs> made out of old sand and it's kind of just a depressing place to be honest. It's not that great. Uh, what are we planting here? Let's do celery, alfalfa, and uh, let's do beets. Because why not? Let's see if they plant any of that stuff anyways. Hematite is being produced. That's great. Uh, we still got to have a, I guess, a stockpile up here. And then we'll dump. We'll set up a little dumping area for them down here. And this is going to be... Oh, why did I do animals? That's not animals. Disable that. We need bars and blocks. Let's enable that. And we'll do... Not potash, not soap. We'll do coal, and we'll do metal. Oops. Oh my goodness. That was silly of me. So we're gonna do, yeah. Not potash, not paralash, not soap. Just coal and bars of metal. That can all go right in that little room here. Down here. So once they're done producing it, they'll bring it down here, and hopefully we'll have some bins laying around for them to throw it into. Uh, this guy's making barrels. I guess that's kind of stupid. You know, we might need bins. Might need bins. I don't think I've made bins in a very long time. So maybe I'll put that on. Uh, we should be good on barrels. I can always just make rock pots if I run out of barrels. Uh, because we have so much rock laying around. We have so much that it's not, like, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, maybe I'll just put that on, on as a production constant. Making rock pots. Yeah, everybody's got a job to do now. <laughs> There's a little dumping zone there for... For bars and metal and everything, everybody's got something to go do now. Which is great to see. No idlers. No idlers out of a fortress of 120. Uh, which is our population limit right now. And how is... Yeah, everything down here is looking really good. i uh, got to set up a bed. Got to set up that bedroom for Ryokan and his... Near his... Uh, right near the uh, armory. Right near the new barracks. If I can find it. I get so confused. Everything's changed so much lately that I'm just so confused. Alright, so this is a bedroom. We're going to assign this bed. There we go. So that's his bed. And let's assign this throne room. Assign the chair and we'll set this up for Ryukon as well. There we go. Perfect. And we just need a chair and a little table in here and we can make this into an office. That little room there, that'll be like a little office that you come into. Just a chair and a table when you first come to his little house. Um, that's where he can administer things or talk to people if they need to meet with him. Um, and then he moves into his bedroom on the left and his dining room on the right. And I guess he has to walk through his little office to, uh, to move from room to room of his little home. But th that'll be okay. And this should be just about done. Once that's finished, we're going to just dig open that, uh, that waterfall. And see what happens. We'll just have to. We'll have to just see what happens the first time. I don't think there's going to be any order to it. It's just going to be a bit of a mess. If we're being honest, right? There's Moo. We finally got him working on things. So this guy is. He should be happy, satisfied with work, uh, satisfied after making a piece, a masterwork. And he's got a grand bedroom. He's got a chest. He's got a cabinet. This guy's set. This guy was nothing before. Now all of a sudden he's got this nice beautiful bedroom and he's just like our cook. He's been working so hard for us. He deserves it. Uh, let's get these rocks just dumped out of here. Again, people aren't really so eager on hauling them to the designations. Maybe I'm running out of uh, room, but I, I, I thought I had lots of room to dump these things. Um, but I'm just going to dump off all this limestone, get this all out of here. There we go. So much limestone laying around, just to, whatever, just dump it, get out of the way. We have this huge room up here, I'm not sure why everything isn't just being brought here. But it's not, so whatever. Dumping seems to work a lot quicker. Yeah, we we definitely need bins, you can tell we need bins, because charcoal is just going on the ground up here. And we don't have, yeah, this guy's working on bins now, probably a little bit too late to the party, but uh, we'll get these... 
Just gotta get these spammed out now. Cause those shouldn't be going on the ground. That takes up so much room. Each bar is gonna take up its own slot on the ground. Whereas if we have bins, we could fit like 40 or something on each and every single tile. The moment has arrived. Finally. And I mean finally. We've been working on this for a very long time. Somebody has finally gotten around to doing this task of linking up these four floodgates in the basement. Uh, I call it a basement. Anything below me I call a basement. These four get floodgates in the tunnels below. We can finally, and I like this is really exciting, mine out this waterfall and uh, and just get this task done with it's just so awesome. I'm so excited to be, to be doing this. It's like cutting the red tape. Um, I'm just going to do it three wide for now. I'm going to set a high priority on it. And somebody's going to come down here and just dig that out right now. I'm just... Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to see what happens. Somebody better get there and pull that lever right quick. Because we are about to experience water damage. Uh, this should be lots of like trademarked fun, I think. I... I I put in a lot of precautions. I've been, I've tried my best to be very safe about this, but I just know, like I know the way this game goes for me, and I just know this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, well, water isn't even coming down. That's a little bit sad. That's really, that's not at all what I'd wanted. Water didn't even come out of there. That was a big letdown. Not gonna lie. Um, we're right under the water. Don't really know why. Hmm. What a big letdown. You know what we could do? Damn, dude. So I thought it was gonna be a lot of fun. I thought I was gonna mess up. I did mess up, but just in a completely different way. Uh, than I originally thought I would. So what we're going to do, get somebody in there to smooth this out. We're going to go up a level. We are going to... Hmm, how should I do this? Let's send somebody down here, if they can find a way down here. Do a stairway down. Stairway up here. We'll do a tunnel over here. And do a downward stairway here, back up. And what we'll do is we'll just do it this way. We'll just lead water right to it. I don't know how else to do this. We're gonna need a couple stairways. We want the water pressure to be significant. Downward stairway, upwards. That way we have three tiles bringing water down. And then we'll have like the way in and out for the miners. Oops, what am I doing with the military? Don't play with the military. Don't, don't you dare. What? Inactive, these guys should be training. Did I have these guys sitting at the front gate that whole time? That is not good. I had these guys on guard duty for like ages. I only just realized these guys have been sitting here at the gate. Hmm. That could have been very bad. Hopefully they all survived. Hopefully nobody like starved to death waiting there. But they're all good. They'll go back to training now. They'll level back up. Oh, I'm sorry guys. That was my carelessness. I wonder how long they've been sitting there. Maybe I'll have to go back and take a look at uh, some of the footage and just see like, how long were those guys really just hanging out there for. That's a little bit embarrassing. Um, why am I smoothing the stone I'm about to mine out? Good question. I should have smoothed out the, s the floor. That's I think that's what I was thinking and that I just didn't. That was kind of silly of me, but we'll, we'll get there. We're working on it. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this waterfall, man. This has taken... This is kind of a bit ridiculous that it's just been such a mess. It's been such a, a hassle so far. Looks like maybe we're almost there.
these guys are canceling the job over and over again of mining this area out because of the uh, because of the damp stone or the, the supposed damp stone. Um, I've just got to keep assigning these guys just really come here and just keep digging. Um, and then we're carving some fortifications here to let the water through. Because I realize that if my dwarves can walk into this tunnel from outside, enemies can as well. And if anybody can swim, like a troll, uh, they would really have a very easy job of just coming right into the fortress this way. So I, I don't want to make a big vulnerability with this, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to give up on this either. So if anybody comes and swims down this way, they'll at least get stuck on the fortifications. And the water should still be able to flow right through without any issue. This mining shit, man. It's just driving me crazy. Come on, just keep going. The water's not coming through. It hasn't been coming through. Just push on through. Just keep going. Quit canceling the jobs. Who cares about worker safety? You guys are dwarves. You're expendable. You're mining dwarves. You know that you're expendable. There we go. There we go, come on. A little bit further. Oh my god. We finally have it. We finally have this little shaft built out. All we need to do now, and I say all we need to do reluctantly because this is going to end up being a problem, um, is quickly mine these three blocks out. That's the scary part because as soon as they mine this, water is going to start flooding out of here. So I need them to come in here, mine like one, two, three, just bam, 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 hit up all these tiles, and um, hopefully we get enough miners in here to do it quickly, and then they're able to just make a run for these stairs and get out of here safely without dying or drowning or something awful um you know what though honestly if they do have to leave we don't have a lot of water coming in there right now so we can always come back to this later so we can once this floods out we can you know take a step back let that little bit of water drain out the way it's going to drain out and then we can come back and, and dig out the rest i just really want to see this get done man like i really want to see this actually get put to use like i actually want to see this finally come to completion because it's been so long and it's been a lot of reworking and waiting on ridiculously tedious things like this lever which just took ages it took so long for that lever to get installed properly it just it's been such a wait maybe i'm just really impatient like i know that i'm probably very impatient right now but here we go they're actually mining out the rock they're mining the rock as we speak they're letting water out these dwarves are getting hit with water and now they've just got to make a run for it there's blood. Oh, good. There's blood for some reason. Somebody got hurt. Oh. Zass something? Maybe he had blood on him. From like a goblin or something. Maybe he just got a bath? I think he just got a bath, man. I think that's what it was. I, I'm gonna hope that's what it was. Water is coming out now. Water is flowing. About time. Water is coming out and it's flowing into the barracks. And it's hitting this little chamber here, the way it's supposed to. Water so far has not been hitting the floor, but we've got a nice mist. Generating a very nice mist, and it's going to drain out of these tunnels properly, it looks like. It looks like things have been done the way it's, they're supposed to be done. That's so nice to see. That's so nice to see. Now we just need to get a, a nice flow of water coming into this section. And I'm going to test that out, and I'm going to have somebody pull this lever and just see what happens. Do it now. Somebody come. Somebody's gonna come by, pull that lever. I don't think that's gonna be enough water to fill this chamber constantly. We're gonna have a very small trickle from the way I, I'm thinking this is gonna go. But you know, it's something. It is something. So that's that's cool all the same. Uh, it's exciting. It's exciting to see. And maybe we just need to open this up a little bit. Maybe we need to open this room up a little bit. But here it comes. Water's, water's coming in here. Maybe we need a couple more flood chambers uh, added. And maybe we can set up a couple of flood chambers along here. And maybe we can do a whole 
reservoir kind of thing where we have, you know, six switches along a wall somewhere and each one of them leads to a flood chamber and we can limit how much is coming in at any, any given time and all that good stuff and eventually maybe we can make a, a flooding the base system uh, for when we get super raided and we're just so far, like we're just so, we're doing so bad that, you know, we need to just flood the entire base to kill the enemies because we just don't have the manpower to do it. But this is so cool to see. We've got a waterfall inside. We've got a waterfall nicely seated inside the new barracks and it worked out. Now we just got to work on a water system to get this little chamber flooded with water and this little chamber filling up on a somewhat regular basis because it's like as you can see it's, it's going to trickle out here. It's going to come out into the actual waterfall over here. It's going to trickle out and be lost this way. It's going to it's going to go out any which way from our massive uh, like the water projects that we've done in the past. Um, this room will have like a light dusting of water and once in a while we'll see a small trickle come out of here. What it's doing right now is about what I want to see on a constant um, where it's at right now. I want to, I don't want to see like an over, you know, an overbearing waterfall just flowing constantly, but I, I want to see like a nice steady trickle of water coming through here and maybe, maybe a little bit more than this, like to the point where it was creating a mist before. That was so cool, but we're getting there. We're really getting there and it's really exciting to see some of these projects come to life. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Uh, it's been a lot of fun getting this all set up. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section if you want a dwarf made or anything. Anything that you see that you'd like to be added to the fortress. Any kind of feedback in general um, really makes my day to see that kind of thing. And uh, I'm going to keep trying to put out these, uh, these videos on a daily basis. Um, some days I might miss a day here and there, but I'm going to keep trying to put these out on a daily basis uh, because I really do enjoy making these. Um, subscribe to my channel if you, you know, you want to keep up to date and see when these come out. Uh, but anyways, until next time, guys.